Good afternoon and welcome to the Blythebridge High School News Report. It's been a busy time in and around Blythebridge High School recently. At the beginning of the week, the school opened its doors with 23 French exchange students from Marseille. Over the course of the week, they've become part of the school by attending lessons, school trips and genuinely experiencing the life of the students. Here's a report from our correspondents who've been to find how the settling in. We are going to be talking to the French exchange students that are visiting our school and some of their friends that are looking after them. These students have flown from Marseille to Amsterdam. They stopped for three hours before flying to England. They've been to a few places in England, such as Trenton, Manchester and Blythebridge. There are about 30 students, mostly in year 9 and 10, and all of them have been paired with pen pals from Blythebridge High School. I think it's a really good opportunity for the French students and us. We get to touch actual oh. French people, which helps with our languages. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. We took the plane at uh, 6 uh, o'clock and we arrived on the Many students have had the opportunities to go to other countries. These have been in departments such as music and modern for our languages. We've really enjoyed having the French students here and hope we can have them back here again. Now, from international relations to some ex-students who may be dreaming of playing internationally. 17-year-old Ben Britton currently plays for Nottingham Forest and has recently been linked with a potential £10 million deal with Liverpool. Another ex-student who's achieving footballing success is Ollie Shenton, who plays for Stoke City Football and is currently on loan to Rex. Our correspondent Cameron caught up with him earlier today. Was it difficult, Ollie, to ban- balance your schoolwork with football? Um, it, it wasn't really. I think I had a, I had a good teacher at uh, Stoke and he helped me to, to really get it done in the end. I had, to, I had to come into school and pick the work up I needed and then, uh, yeah, he helped me and we got it done in the end, yeah. yeah. Um, what was it like to sign your first professional contract? Yeah, it was a proud moment for me and my family. Um, something that I've been working towards since I was little. Um, obviously, being with Stoke since I was six, and then obviously signing last year um, when I was 17, 18. So, yeah, yeah. I was very proud. Yeah, what are your aspirations for the future? Um, to try and uh, to try and get in the Stoke team, at, obviously at Stoke, and be in the first team there and be a regular starter. I think that's that's my main aspiration for the future. Okay, um, and what team did you support growing up? Great, yeah, I've, obviously my family have always been Stoke fans and then I've obviously grew up and uh, supported Stoke myself and watched them, yeah. Um, who was your role model growing up? Uh, Frank Lampard, I think, was my role model. I think I've watched him and, uh, yeah, he's, if I could be anything like him uh, when I'm older, the career he's had, the success he's, he's had in the game, uh, yeah, Frank Lampard. Okay, um, what was your debut in the League Cup like? Yeah, it was good, yeah. Uh, I was very excited and then uh, obviously being 16 in the League Cup, it was uh, a proud moment for me, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and would you ever play abroad? Yeah, I think after my, if I have a successful career in uh, England, then yeah, I definitely would go abroad and play. Yeah, and uh, apart from PE, what other subjects did you enjoy at school? Um, I enjoyed all my subjects, I think maths I enjoyed, um, DT, English was good as well, uh, science I enjoyed them all, yeah. Yeah, and uh, how did you how do you keep fit? Um, obviously, with the coaches at Stoke, they help me, and uh, I I try and eat as healthy as I can, and then I do like gym gym stuff, and uh, I go to the gym every day at Stoke, and yeah, so I keep fit. Yeah, um, and who is your favourite teacher here at Blythe? I think mainly the PE staff. I think Mr. Edwards, uh, Mr. Barker when he was here, and obviously Mr. Smith when when he was here as well. So I'm yeah. three. Um, and how did the school and Stoke support you? Um, there was a, I think there was an agreement put in place with Stoke and the school, um, and yeah, they supported me with the county, and yeah, that was how how they supported me really. They said uh, that was agreed, and they supported me from there. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you played Braintree at the weekend, yeah. two one win. How was that? Yeah, it was a good win for for obviously me being on loan to Wrexham now, and then yeah, I scored as well, and we won, so it was a, a good day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you could give one piece of advice. To the students here at Blythe, what would that be? I think if if you've got a goal or if you set goals in life and just work hard and really focus on what you want to do and, and just work at the very best you can and just keep focusing, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. 
as well as its sporting excellence, Blythebridge is a music trust school and is well known for its musical talent. On March the 13th, the school held a performance evening featuring students from all eight ranges. One student who participated was accomplished guitarist Dylan. Here's our correspondent with Owen, who asked him about what his experience was like. On Monday the 13th of March, Blythebridge High School held a performing arts evening for the musically gifted at their school. Here with me today is one of the performers of the evening, Dylan Young. Now, Dylan, tell me, how does it feel when you're backstage right before the performance? Well, you notice know, everyone else is getting quite nervous, and it's like, you think you're going to mess up in front of everyone, everyone's going to laugh, everyone's going to notice that you've messed up, but in reality, that's not what's going to happen. They're there to listen to you play, so even if you do mess up, they're not going to like laugh at you or criticise you because it's not like they're up there playing. Have you ever been on stage and you've just slipped up and everyone's realised, but you carried on anyway? Yes, that's, that's show, shows determination. Hello. How was the uh, performance for you? Well, I think I did, well, okay. I may have messed up here and there, but I don't think anyone else noticed, so it's okay. Okay, uh, let's talk about you. What, what made you want to be a musician? Well, I'd say it was mainly thanks to my dad. He is a guitarist, he's also a pianist. Talented? Fairly talented, quite musically gifted. Um, but as soon as I heard he plays guitar, I wanted to play, so... We all have our idols. Um, how 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 do you feel that like the other performers did at that evening? I think they did very well. I didn't notice anyone mess up, even if they thought they did. I think, yeah, the audience loved them. I thought the time was right. To be honest, everyone does criticise themselves, whether it's music or something else. Yeah, they, exactly. They feel like they've not done it perfectly, but half the time they actually have. Uh, okay, let's talk about the performance as a whole. Like, overall, how do you feel the performance went? I think it went very well. Everyone enjoyed it. The audience loved it. The performers had fun. It's mainly what it's all about. If you're up there having fun, then everyone's happy. Sadly, that is all the time we have. But thank you for answering my questions and being here today. Oh, it's a pleasure. So now Dylan is going to introduce his music. This is Surfing with the Alien by Joe Satriani. <laughs>
great to see talent like that being showcased and recognised by the school. This has been Bladbridge High School's News Report. Thank you and we hope you've enjoyed watching. <laughs>